They say in Fume making the big announcement this afternoon. And a well known name now in this race, WJZ is live. Paul Guests are outside the Reginald F. Lewis Museum where the latest candidate announced a run. Paul. Rick and Nicole Elijah Cummings replaced Kwaizi Mfume here in Congress in 1996. Now Mfume told supporters here that he wants that old seat back. Turn to the congressional seat of the 7th Congressional District of Maryland. Kwaisi Mfume will be back on the ballot come February. The former congressman who once followed Perrin Mitchell wants his seat back to fill Elijah Cummings' shoes. So I wore those shoes for 10 years. They still fit comfortably, by the way. Uh, it's just a matter of putting them back on again. Governor Hogan announced a special primary election to fill Cummings' seat will be February 4th, 2020, with the general coinciding with the presidential primary in April. And Fume is running in the special election and intends to run for the seat full time. In terms of being ready, I'm ready on day one. Mfume left Congress in 1996 to become the president of the national NAACP. In that position, he admitted to having an affair with a staff member. Monday, Mfume acknowledges it was not right. There was nothing mean about that. There was nothing vile about that. And there was nothing illegal about it. But because we worked together, I shouldn't have done it. And I said it was a boneheaded mistake. Mfume last ran for office in 2006 when he lost to Ben Cardin in a Democratic primary for U.S. Senate. This time around, State Senator Jill Carter has already announced she's considering running and possibly Cummings' widow, Dr. Maya Rockymore Cummings. No, we have not sat down and plotted and planned. We have had discussions. Back live downtown, Maryland has not had a female in its congressional delegation since U.S. Senator Barbara Mikulski retired. Mfume, meanwhile, has not officially filed yet for this seat. He has no website up, nor a treasurer announced for his campaign. In this condensed election timeline, candidates have until November 20th to officially file for the special election. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.